Adbiu Kwakwansu, the presidential candidate of the new Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, has described southeastern Nigerians as good business people but poor in politics. The former Kano governor also said the people of the southeast are well talented but need to learn politics, adding that in politics they are at the bottom line. I think uh, people from uh, the north, if really they know what they are doing, if really they, they can think for themselves and not allow themselves to be used by all these politicians. And I've always asked that question. They should be asking their leaders, you know how to play the politics. You are on top of the politics because you said the Igbos are bottom line of politics. Then what has your being up, being versatile when it comes to politics, what has he brought or given to Nigeria? What has he brought to your people? What are your people gaining? I don't think these people reason before they open their mouth. Because if you are doing something and you are good at what you are doing, if it's beneficial to other people or even to yourself, to your people, who we'll say, oh, maybe what you are doing is the right thing, then we need to follow that line. If what you have brought or what your being versatile or being knowledgeable about politics is bringing um, with what your people are experiencing, with the vices happening in your region, that means that kind of politics is not how to, is not worth emulating. Those who are not, we've been saying it. Those who are not a, a conversant or who are not versatile about politics, go and see their people there. Of course, he himself he confirmed it that they are business, good business people. They are talented, but you that you know how to play with politics, are your people talented? That is a question we need to be asking. It's just unfortunate. That's why I said the northerners should be able to ask their leaders that, okay, now, we're always talking about we had, had the whatever, we know how to do this and that, but what have we gained? But unfortunately, I don't know how they're going to answer that, or maybe they're they not even seeing it from that angle. Kwakwansu stated this in Gombe State during a visit to Gombe State to inaugurate the state's office of NNPP and meet the elected members of the party on Saturday. So what has that got to do with egos because you went to Gombe. So, Igbo people in Gombe, I don't understand. There has been pressure on the NNPP and the Labour Party to work together to produce the presidential candidates between them for the 2023 presidential election. Kwakwanso and the presidential candidates of the Labour Party have admitted that the parties have had talks, but the bone of contention is that the two candidates want to be presidential candidates in the arrangement. On the choice of his running mate, Kwakwansu said, we have options in the NMPP in the South to pick a good vice president and one of them is the Labour Party. <laughs> and you are talking about, Labour Party man you are talking about. He noted that his party had been in talks with the Labour Party for a possible merger, but that the decision on who would emerge as the presidential candidate between him and Obi had hindered the progress of the talks. From the Discussion with Labour Party. The main issue was who becomes the president if the parties merge. At the end of the day, some of our representatives thought that there should be criteria in terms of age, qualification, offices, head, performance, and so on. Of course, the other side wouldn't want that. Most of the people from there, from there, believe that presidency has to go to their go the southeast. If now I decide to be vice presidential candidates to anybody in this country, NNPP will collapse because the party is based on what we have built in the last 30 years. I served for 17 years as a civil servant. We are talking of 47 years of very serious hard work that is what is that is what is really holding NNPP now. He said Kwakwanso said the he said Kwakwanso said the Southeast had lost out on the presidential and vice presidential candidates of the ruling All Progressives Congress APC and the People's Democratic Party PDP, uh, but had a chance with the NMPP both news PM news reports. According to him, some people are saying even if my friend Peter B wants to accept vice presidential candidates, some people in the Southeast will not accept. He described that as not strategic. Okay. He said Bola Tinubu, who emerged as the presidential candidate of the APC in 2015, supported the party to produce a northerner as the presidential as the president, and today he is the presidential candidate of the APC. According to Kwakwansu, the best option left for the South is, is to partner with NMPP, describing it as a golden opportunity. If they lose it, 
it will be a disaster, he added. On the chances of the NNPP in the 2023 election, Kwakwansu said his party had the structure, organization, and population across the country to contest and win election. Like, seriously, oh my God, there's something I really want to, to even, even talk about. But at least as time as we go on on this, I think I should be able to remember. The, there's no problem. You go and do your own because all of you put together, we have seen your track records. Maybe you are a bit better than that. I wouldn't know because I don't even know much about you. Yes, I remember now. Now, he said the NNPP has been on for 47 years. So, where were you? Because I can remember you being floating between PDP and all of that. So, why, when <laughs> these guys are funny, but you've been, you've been in PDP, you've been in APC, you come back to PDP before PDP or APC, you come back to what are you talking about? Have you been in that party for 47 years? The party has been going on while you've been moving from APC to PDP. So what are we talking about? I think the best, best, let everybody go and test their popularity. At the end of the day, none of you will suffer. It is the people that will suffer. If the people cannot use their tongue to cancel their teeth, it's left for them. <laughs> it shouldn't be any problem. It is not a do or die affair. Nigerians have been in, in this struggle of suffering and all the vices that we've been experiencing. It's not going to be a different thing. So the best thing, if... It's now what he's saying is that himself is better off. So I think they should cut off this. And the man has come out to say that he cannot be a vice presidential candidate. No. So you expect a uh, OB to be your vice president so that they will not lose the chance. So everybody will still go and vote for another northerner after Buhari. Is that what you are saying? I think the best best is just for them to forget about this. Let Obi go there and test his popularity. It's not, a, it's not let everybody go there and test their popularity. It's not a do or die affair. Anybody that wants to match, you should match. If you don't know that you're not going to match, fine. The people will decide at the end of the day. And whatever that comes out at the end of the day, so be it. <laughs> well, you people that are professors in politics, what good have you guys done for Nigeria? Why is Nigeria dying? Since you all know politics better nigeria is at the bottom in stepping into a big hell fire and you are here talking nonsense and rubbish and that is it no that is the problem what see una don't bring what see una don't do i no just understand what see una don't do <laughs> i don't even expect anything serious from an average uncircumcised man and that is who and what they are when a man is dirty his lifestyle and everything he does will be dirty houses are very dirty people oh my god you don't say that why should you say they are dirty people no mm -hmm. well but bros these people read shamelessly shamelessness in school as a cause they don't even have shame all of them i don't know tell them politics of darkness from pit of faith suffering even their own that put them put for them <laughs> yeah, very nonsense talk from Kwakwan Su. This Obi obedience Peter has become a very serious campaign strategy nightmare for all presidential candidates. APC, PDP, NMPC, NMPC, or whatever, NMPP, Shewore, Renu, Atiku, using Obi as their symbol on their obedience politically to the obedience movement. Don't mind them. Tell me now if uh, he wins, what will he do? Mm hmm. But what Kwakwanso said is true. Igbo used to lead in politics. See, this is not all about leading in politics. All of you, you don't have shame. Leading in politics and see Nigeria today. Some people will tell you that uh, they are professor in politics. They are this and that. You now know they shame. Now know they shame. See the way the country is. You are just enriching yourself. That's just what you are doing. That is all what they are doing. The Fulanis have a born to rule mentality, feel superior to everyone else. And when you look at them in the recent, look at them, whether they have what it takes. And that is why the country is like this. Because if you have, the, if really they are intelligent and, and talented, intelligent in doing evil, that's it. This is not Igbo's mo Igbo movement, Oga. Don't even bring that into this. This is progressive Nigeria on the move. Uh, we left uh, politics after the war. Before the civil war, Ndigbo were rooted in democratic and military policies. After the war, we decided to face business because it was obvious that Nigeria do not want an Igbo man to be close to power. We saw the handwriting on the wall and we moved on with our lives. Decades later, we started getting interested in politics and I can tell you that if we should make out time for politics within four years, 
you will see us doing something you have never imagined before. We are good learners and we are creative thinkers. If you focus on politics, the arts come go shock you. If you are crudely abusive because of a corporate statement, then it is very and obviously correct in his statement. It's not correct in his statement because we need to deal with the issues. Nigerians are suffering today. Why is it that all of them are going there? They will tell you, oh, we, are, we want to make sure this thing is better. These are the things that they've been talking about, using a lot of all these normal things that an average Nigerian is supposed to be enjoying. They are still using it to campaign after how many years? Are we not? Are they not ashamed of themselves? <clears throat> hmm. Then those of them, somebody say Igbo no how to do to climb or what to do to climb up in policies. Those of them that are not there, are there, what have they brought to this country? Because believe you me, if things are going on fine in this country, Nigerians will not be bothered because they know that there's a system that will correct anybody that wants to be the president, that wants to lead. But we don't have system in place. That's why things are just going upside down. Nobody will care. Nobody will be bothered who goes there because at the end of the day, whether now you come there or not, you must do the bidding of the people. But what we have now is not what it is. And you people that understand policies better than Igbos, what good have you brought to Nigeria with all your talents in politics? Oga, okay, now it's not time for politics. We are talking about new Nigeria that we accommodate everyone not playing policies of sharing formula. That is it. They are not still getting it. Sometimes a fool makes more sense when he's just silent. Immediately he speaks his foolishness best his fangs. This hobby movement is really giving a lot of people sleepless nights. You should just go ahead and forget them. Choose anybody you can choose from. Do not do your bidding. If you fail, if you uh, win, fine. If you don't win, mm -hmm, you are not going to suffer. Not a, you are not a desperate at those who have been planning and, and be building people so that they will have structures. They have been stealing money so that they will be able to spend money. So those are the things that we are talking about. Mm -hmm. You will go back. And if they no lose, if they no win, now they go get at attack. If Obi no win, you know goes, you know go do them anything. So guys, I leave your comment down there below and let's have your say.